to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right, welcome back, Wi-Fi's, to yet another underground and under renovation episode of the wireless woman go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video why because when you like it well i love it if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications of when I upload new content and when I go live. I have a panel plan for about mid-April that is going to be called Unleashed. I'm going to have some female friends of mine come on to the panel who have been in various stages of deconstruction in their lives. We all hit a point where we stop being polite and we start getting real. And I just want to have some more discussions with other Black women about how they have engaged that space and how we bridge the people pleasing spaces that we have been in and really start to go out and be inclusive you know everyone wants diversity until it comes time to include everyone so it's time for us to take our rightful place the completion of the cycle requires that and we're going to be discussing that you want to be there when it happens so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you've clicked that bell for notifications okay okay you know we wireless over here I, I might let you know I might not I'm also going to be starting a series on financial fitness you know we want to be financially fit feminine and friendly black women and so you want to be there for that when it happens make sure you are plugged in to my unplugged channel anyway today we are here because this series that i'm starting is going to be all about dating as a black woman in a post pandemic world it's wild out here it is literally the wild wild west of dating i can't even be honest with you and tell you that i feel like it's advantageous but i do believe that dating is an art form i think if you don't use it you lose it and a lot of people have been sitting in their homes by themselves in isolation and quarantine and have lost lost the ability to communicate associate negotiate with other people and we're seeing it in the dating world i am on the dating app because i'm in a new city i work full-time i go to school full-time and i have a love-hate relationship with the dating app because it's efficient it brings you people you ordinarily would not come into proximity with um, you're able to see a profile that gives you the you know, basic information about whether or not there is a, a cause for communication with this person or not. So it's very efficient. And for a woman like me, maybe I love efficiency, so it can be great. But what I don't like about it is that in general, the people who don't have proximity to meet people in their environment can be some of the people they don't need to be dating. You know, there's a lot of lying, catfishing, ghosting, all that all that unsavory stuff in the dating app space. But I've committed to being in the space for a season. You know, it is mating season. I'm going to call it dating season because it ain't going to be a whole lot of mating in my dating season, but it's going to be a whole lot of dating. We keep being told as women that we... <laughs> We need to stop taking it so seriously. We need to date. So I'm going to try it. You know me, I'm a scientist. I'm a scientist at heart. So I'm going to take you along this journey with me. I'm hoping that you can get down in these comments and we can compare some notes. You know, um, if I'm not the only person in this process, I definitely would love to <laughs> glean some information from other daters on what's working for you Black women in this post-pandemic world and what isn't. Okay. I'm a very engaging person. 
but I'm still not being engaged kind of like out there in the marketplace. So the dating app does kind of give you some proximity, but baby, I plan to make this series a whole lot of fun. We're going to talk about some of these profiles. I'm going to be doing dating reviews where I am going to review my dates and myself in the interaction because I do want to improve as a dater. I feel like dating is kind of like the job interview, if you will, of being able to move into the relationship space. And if you don't date well, your prospects for relationship are going to be diminished by the lack of engagement skills. Now, I'm a huge proponent that the things that make you successful in dating, that even in a certain extent make you successful in relationships, don't lead to long-term marital success. But I want to deconstruct even that concept that we should be looking for marriage in that way. Now, y'all know I'm a Christian, even though I keep being told on TikTok that the spirit of God is not within me. I'm going to need them to consult God on that. But in the inner realm, I will say that I think we've been conditioned as black women to feel a certain amount of value and worth that's associated with being wives and being married. And that's not even what the institutional duty of being a wife correlates to. And so I think that's the reason why we're not seeing it and why we're missing it in our dating and in our relationships, because we're so (laughs) hyper-focused, so hyper-focused on the outcome of being wives. So we're putting all of this wife energy into relationships that may not even deserve that type of attention. These these may just be training centers to teach us certain things about who we are as people so we can move into more companionate and individualized marriages that will actually lead us to being the best version of ourselves instead of codependent, um, codependent extensions of a man. You know, and that's just if that's what you want. If you want to be a codependent extension of a man, well, you know, keep doing what you're doing. But if we're going to really have marriages that are emotionally supportive, that that support our dreams and hopes and supply us with the types of um, companionship that we need in order to go out into the marketplace and do the things that we want to, we're going to have to also reinvigorate the way we approach the dating space. So, I hope that you'll go with me in this new series across these episodes. And like I said, I'm super busy. I'm working full time. I'm going to school full time. Why did I do this to myself? Why did I get married? Why did I go to school? But I'm going to really, really try to continuously be coming forward with new content on this channel. And so I'm hoping to be rewarded for my efforts, for my entrepreneurship here and I need to see you in those comments let me know what you like what you don't like what you want to see more of because I am going to be doing a couple of different series so let me know what you like let me know what's working so that I can get you what you come here for all right but in the meantime go ahead and drop that comment headphones emoji in the comments I look forward to engaging with you there until the next time I'll see you in those comments you're dismissed Yeah, Barbara, it's Richie. Yeah, look it, I ain't never coming home no more. Take it easy.